We've all heard of detox diets, detox drinks, all of that, right? But now the new trend is about that is about detox from social media, getting rid of your social media addiction. But how many days, if you stay away from social media, is it called social media detox? In fact, what does it even mean? Is it an actual term? These are the questions that Divya here is going to answer, who's a psychologist. Hi, Divya. Hello and welcome to the print. Thank you so much. So let's start with the beginning. Ki kya hota hai social media de addiction ya detox? Is it an actual term? Ya humne ye popularize kar diya? Uh, it's not yet an actual term in terms of de addiction per se, but I think Ajkal ke zamane mein we all do need to detox right. a bit from social media. In fact, uh, you know, whenever we uh, speak to teenagers, school hmm. students, college students, we give them this challenge: ki, Can you stay away for four hours away from all of your gadgets? Okay. Right? And that doesn't include the time when you're sleeping. Okay. And uh, can you do that once a week uh, okay. and prove it to us that you're able to detox from that? So that's that's one version of a social media detox hmm. that we suggest people doing. Hmm. And it's very interesting the kind of things that uh, people come up and say, you know, whether it's developing new hobbies, whether it's actually talking to people face to face, hmm. family members, friends and things like that. Uh, so it's it's been quite an interesting experience. Okay. What happens is ki, um, we've become so used to all these gadgets constantly pinging at us, right? Hmm. Uh, you'll notice that even when we're sitting free, even when there's no notification, the minute we have two minutes gap, we'll pick up our phone and we'll start scrolling, we'll start opening all our apps, see if there's something there. Hmm. And many times hours and hours go uh, in just this mindless kind of scrolling and you ask someone, what did you actually do with that time? Hmm. What did you learn? And they'll have absolutely nothing to say. So, um, you know, picking up from what you said, uh, is there any way that, because we know that now social media is time paper so that or good. And people used to go and write, right? I, I know it, it feels like almost an ancient age now, but <laughs> <laughs> but like there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's YouTube, there's Twitter. And I feel like uh, aksar jase Twitter mein usually news dhundne chal jate hai. Mm. Reels pe to hum sab hai hi. Hum sab like I'm equally guilty of that, I would say. But hum scroll karte rate um, pictures because Instagram is now shifted from being a picture sharing app to now more of a video app. Um, YouTube to hai hi video. Aksar joke hota hai ki aapne ek video se shuru kiya char ghande baad kab kahi aur pahunch gaye ho. Uh, we do it with Google also, in fact, in fact, not just social media. But I wanted to know, what's the difference between the impact ka in terms of like, ki, jase Twitter, mein, because it's more hard news, it's more sentences or whatever, it's limited characters, like the impact is different. Uh, Instagram, mein videos are like anything like that. Uh, so I think one is that, yes, there are different uh, social media platforms that may appeal more to certain kinds of people. Hmm. But a lot also depends on what it is that we are choosing. Which is why also we need to be very, very careful because my uh, Instagram or Twitter or handle and what I see may be very different hmm. from what opens up for you. And we think we're looking at the same thing, right. but actually we're getting very different information that is tailored hmm. to us. Uh, but kahan pe difference will come is in terms of you know the kind of media that we're viewing. Uh, things that have pictorial images have hmm. more of an impact. Things that are video fast moving. Uh, you know, they stimulate our brain a bit more. Hmm. Uh, so the way that these apps are designed hmm. in a way, uh, in terms of how compulsive they make it hmm. for us to keep scrolling. So in that sense, there would be a difference. But I think a lot also depends on how we choose to use and how we right. choose to interact with these apps. Mm -hmm. What we are looking for from those. Are we looking at a way of, uh, you know, connecting with our friends, people we've lost touch with? Hmm. Are we using it to spread awareness hmm. are we using it to spread a certain kind of a belief system that we want more and more people to understand is it for entertainment is it a way to express ourselves hmm. uh, so a lot of that will also depend on on our own relationship with social media and what we want to do with that taking on from what you just said uh, it depends on us how you're choosing a particular social media platform yes. hum apne handle ko hi kaise show kar rahe logo ko. that okay. really depends right so you used one term and my next question actually comes from that a lot of us want to express ourselves in whatever form right in form of tweets in form of like an instagram video a reel or whatever but uh, would you Tell us the impact of like the likes, shares, comments, jo hota hai, jo hum, mere show bhi unfortunately bolte hai hum ki, aur dekhe, please. But when we are like constantly checking up ki, achha, kitne likes hai, mm. kitne, and 
let's say for example like i have now started basing uh, if, if if i put up a picture and i think it's a really good picture of me and um whatever i'm looking like you know i mean and whatever clothes and i want that itne to hone chahiye like let's i i have in my head ki itne to aane chahiye and i don't that's why i get half of what it hmm. uh and it happens let's say char panch baar you know i'm pretty sure like my first thought is now that oh there's an algorithm as well which is at work or you know exactly. like there's a chance that i start thinking oh maybe i'm not as pretty or maybe you know i don't know my friends are not as nice i mean whatever it is so could you tell us about the impact it can have on somebody's self confidence self image in fact even body image issues yes. uh in fact these studies bahut uh, many decades back these studies have happened which mm. have, which have recognized the link between media mm. and body image related issues and they found that when more and more television started coming in right. uh, body image issues actually started increasing amongst people in younger and younger mm. uh, age groups as well and now with social media coming in mm. uh, that's probably just amplified mm. a lot more and i think again two aspects here right one is uh, you've put the picture but you know behind the scenes you've taken like 50 pictures <laughs> right uh, at slightly different angles before that you may have been fighting with someone you may have been in a bad mood could have had a terrible day uh, but the minute that camera rolls in you suddenly have a different expression on your face then you choose you put filters you choose one out of those 50 photographs after a lot of thought and then that photograph goes out and then of course you know you start looking at validation approval from other people by way of those likes and then there's the other side of it which is that everyone is posting photographs like this but from our own side we understand the back story but when other people post it we don't realize that right. they've gone through right. all of this entire procedure we look at such curated lives but we start thinking that that's their actual lived life hmm. and we start comparing ourselves with them hmm. feeling like that is real what i am putting up is something that i've created and not recognizing that difference so these comparisons start to come up this can be lifestyle related this can be a very consumerist related this can be body image related as well uh, so that starts to take a toll hmm. and at the same time then you know we start also trying to compete with that also trying to project that same thing hmm. and then determine our own self esteem self worth based on those likes that we're getting hmm. and it it's nerve wracking right you put up a post you're constantly you keep checking your phone every 2 to 2 minutes did i get another like did i get another yeah. like uh, and so yeah that would take a tremendous toll on our sense of self okay so actually um, at least as far as i have noticed i'm coming back to the detox question a lot of people who identify as content creators who have like very very public lives whatever curated or not on social media they usually feel the need to often go because unka life is completely um dominated by numbers because they also earning like it's not simply like us yeah. like us putting the best photo we could yes. think of in a day or a mm-hmm. month but for them it's like every day aapko a certain number of post jana hai a certain number of uh, engagement aana hai because it it's also money that's going to come in right mm-hmm. and a lot of these people that i've spoken to for other stories and all they often say that you know we often feel like our lives are ruled by our numbers right and that it's so constant that you know sometimes you have a breakdown and you can't even talk about that breakdown because what people are waiting for uh, as consumers from us as creators again is the curated version it's it's yes. not the real version even the real version like people <laughs> bolte na nude makeup is actually like a lot of makeup it's more makeup than the bridal makeup sometimes <laughs> so i was wondering ye jo detox hai kyunki aksar you know even doctors say ki ye jo detox fad chalta hai kabhi kabhi चार अपने सब्जियां डाल के पानी पी लिया आपको लगता है बापरे यू नो माय बॉडी हैज एलिमिनेटेड ऑल द बैड फूड दैट आई हैव हैड इन बट इट डजंट वर्क लाइक दैट सो इज वंडरिंग डू यू थिंक इट कैन हैव लाइक एन इंपैक्ट और डू यू थिंक इट्स समथिंग इफ डन रेगुलरली लाइक लाइक यू हैड मेंशन इन योर फर्स्ट आंसर दैट यू यू चैलेंज स्कूल किड्स लाइक इफ डू यू थिंक लाइक देयर कुड बी सम टाइम फ्रेम कि ऐसा आप ट्राई कर सकते हो एवरी फ्यू डेज और वीक्स or do you think people like creators at least need more of that as opposed to us we who might have a limited number of followers so limited sense of dopamine wagera kyunki hum thode limited logo se expect kar rahe hain likes as opposed to them ki kisi ka pura business life merge ho gaya hai social media pe so um a difficult question uh, to answer honestly and i you know when you work with some content creators you also realize the kind of discipline hard work pressure Right. that goes into even creating that and hmm. it, in a sense like any other job uh, and and that's how it is i think um, for any job hmm. right whether uh, you're a 
corporate professional who's now spending 10 hours on online meetings mm. or you are a content creator in any other field mm. right? it's important somewhere that we demarcate mm. what is work mm. uh, what is our free time mm. and i think that a lot of times it's how we can be a bit more aware a bit more intentional in the free time right. that we have you mm. know all of us are spending 12 hours in front of the computer mm. but the minute we take a break we will put on our screens or we will look at another tab <laughs> right right so there is that tendency mm. of how we are using those breaks as well mm. so even for people who are content creators right um making sure that you still have a work life balance and mm. doing things outside of your job and a lot of those things can actually also be things that are offline connecting more with nature connecting more with family with friends doing other mm. things that we like so i think that is something and this is not a you know nothing will change uh in one four hours staying away although i think it will open up a lot of people's <laughs> right. eyes the opportunities are there right but it's more about um understanding the impact that social media that all this technology can have seeing how it's affecting you see where it's something that you are actively choosing to do where it's something that's becoming automatic mindless hmm. without us realizing what is the impact it's having on us are we are we valuing that time that we're using could we do something else with that time so it's about bringing about a shift hmm. in our mindset in terms of how we relate to media which is actually what we need so would you say because what felt like from the last bit of your answer that it's more like how we should all be well versed in social media literacy or media literacy of a kind so then it also gives us tools to analyze ourselves when agar hum ja rahe thoda overboard ki you know hum 4 ghante se baithe hue hain and ye hamara routine ban gaya ki hum sone jate hain 10 baje aur hum 2 baje sote hain kyunki hum 4 ghante se phone pe lage hue hain battery hole low ho gayi hai but you know we can't let go because yes. we feel like we we'll lose out right yes. in fact uh, social media literacy is something that we started talking about even to school students because okay. it's something that's so important uh, you might get a forward message on instant messaging hmm. and you will just forward it across without realizing uh, hmm. not knowing you know what is the source of that message kahan right. se aaya kitni baar forward hua hai what is the purpose behind someone creating that message all those jokes memes that are hmm. made so there are people there's a whole industry of people creating those right so do we understand where that's coming from what hmm. we're doing are we pausing thinking before we share something um you know is there something that's left out that are we talking about only one side of the story not about the other side hmm. so a lot of these aspects as well as then more in terms of our lifestyle you know how to manage your work or your studies along with media how how um how gadgets actually can impact our sleep negatively just understanding all of those things being aware and making then choices accordingly hmm. uh, is something that is that's so important these days so divya has answered like really important queries today i'm sure everybody including me uh, are guilty of spending a lot of time on our gadgets phone laptops कुछ भी हो इनफैक्ट अगर आप गलती से दिल्ली मेट्रो में ट्रैवल करते हो तो अक्सर लोग अपने फोन के साथ साथ दूसरे वाले के फोन में भी झाक रहे होते हैं क्योंकि हमें बस फोमो होता है कि हमें बस चाहिए कि वो क्या देख रहे हैं उसके बगल वाला क्या देख रहा है यू नो आई मीन इट्स वेरी कॉमन फिनोम एक्चुअली एनी वे जोक्स अपार्ट आई थिंक दिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट सोशल मीडिया एडिक्शन इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट रियल सो डी अगर आप करना चाहे तो वी कैन स्टार्ट विथ फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टू वन आवर ट्राई टू कीप अवे फ्रॉम यू फोन टेक अ वॉक स्टार्ट low but probably it is important for all of us to take breaks and recognize that there are things beyond our gadgets there are people more important than the gadgets um there's nature more important than the gadgets i think uh thank you divya so much for coming and uh, doing this important <laughs> in conversation with me Thanks. and thank you for watching uh, please subscribe our youtube channel and follow us on our social media handles thank you